to another episode of Electrical Theology Esoteric Life Coaching. I'm your host, Charles. Thanks for joining me, guys. Appreciate it. If you like these uh, videos that I've been doing, go ahead and subscribe. Right? About half of y'all who watch this aren't subscribed, so I appreciate you uh, tickling that subscribe button, that like button, and share button with all your friends. Appreciate it. We get into the supernatural, metaphysical. We do this by daily tarot readings. Right? Uh, so let's just get started. All right, immediately we, we get the sun, right? That's awesome. Let's see if y'all can see that okay. We get the sun card right off the bat. Then we get carrying connections. And then we get storm warnings. <laughs> Interesting. We've stepped into our path, our divine path. Right up to this point, it's been uh, someone else's path, and we've talked about this. But now you're beginning to shine your light, not only on you, but it's coming from within you. And this light is, is going to be of service to others. It's going to be... Uh, a love relationship like you've never had before because all this is going to be on your your terms now why do we get the storm warnings here all right so this may be that we are starting a brand new chapter in our life and just like any other chapter there are going to be ups and downs right there's going to be stormy time but this time we're not going to go into anxiety or depression or blame or fault right this storm is here to disrupt in the times when you're wanting to go back to your old default mentality. So the storm, when you see these storms approaching, and if it tears the house down, it just means, hey, let's just rebuild, or hey, that old house needed to go anyway, and we get a new house, right? Now that may be a, a horrible example because some people are going and having their houses wiped out or they're being fired from their job or their mate is um, leaving them, right? This is carrying connections and these are all upright. And in one sense, either you, and if you're not willing to do it yourself, the other person will do it for you. They will draw away from you which then can seem like stormy, uh, a stormy future. But really, it's just clearing, the, clearing out the old debris and making room for new. Does it make sense? If you ever watch a tornado, it wipes out a lot of stuff. It does. But what it does is clear a path, right? And it takes a storm to clear that path sometimes in your life. And so that's what I see as a storm warning coming up. So let's see what else we can get and more information about that store of morning. The caring connection is just, it looks like relationship. But for me, it's, it can be intimate, but it's also new relationships that you've never had before because you've never been the new you before. All right, so it's about um, creating things with the new you. And yes, that's going to take, um, if you're not willing to do it or be conscious of it yourself, what you may perceive as a storm, which is really not a storm, it's just you clearing your path, can happen, all right? So let's just see what, uh, we can get a little more on that storm warning. All right, we get the magician right off the bat, guys. Right? No magician guy here, and it is upright. So we have a new start. This, this tells me that we have new abilities, or we're taking our old abilities and amplifying them in a new way. Right? Or use them for a different cause. Right? And then we get the Ace of Pentacles. So another one. Right? And this is a new business venture. Right? This is a new um, place of coming from groundedness. Right? And it's a, uh, a seed beginning to germinate or come out of the ground. Right? And then we get the Six of Pentacles. So more money. This time when the money comes in, as opposed to last time you may have misused it or just didn't have the knowledge to run the business properly or 
this money was um, just mishandled, we'll put it that way, or just uneducated about how to handle it properly or invest it properly, or you had it and you put that power into someone else to invest it and then it didn't work out the way you thought it should, right? Because of economy, governments can take your money anytime they want, 401ks, right? So here we need to be a little more vigilant about where our money is at all times, not over um, protective over it, but just be aware of it this time around and know where that money's going in and where it's coming out. Weigh your options when it comes to investment, right? Get as much knowledge and information as you can. Right? And we get the nine of cups. So, so far this reading's phenomenal, right? Because it's saying, go ahead and celebrate whatever money is where it hasn't been coming in before is going to start coming in, right? And this is awesome, right? For all those who've been waiting for the money to come in, it's coming in, right? And so this is about celebrating the money coming in. So in your head, go ahead and celebrate that. Yeah, it's here. Don't get caught up in, oh, sure, sure. I've heard this before, right? That in itself is a block, right? No, you got to get into the mindset of celebration. If someone said, hey, I'm not going to give you a million dollars until you can prove to me that you're happy. Not a fake happy to get the money, but just to be happy. Can you be happy first? And if so, I'll give you the money a year from now. Would you do your best to be happy, knowing that it is coming, right? And that which is coming is you putting your energy forward. You're the storm that's going to clear the path, right? And then we get the devil card upside down. Right? The devil, uh, again for me, is passion. And so you, in your past, and this is in the past position, the devil card is about you weren't, you may have been passionate about what you were doing, but then you're not passionate about it anymore. I once read where um, in relationships, if your relationships only last a certain amount of years, let's say every five years and you, you're into another relationship and another five years in another relationship, or you move every five years, uh, something like that, you got to go back to that year of when you were a child, right? And if you were five and something happened, right, your parents divorced, so you moved, something that was traumatic from a child's perspective, um, this is why it's hard for you to commit or stay in one place, possibly. So the storm is going to move you out of your old places, right, to get you to address what happened back then. Not as a victim, but just as an acknowledgement to say, oh, this thing has been blocking me, right, what can I do about that now? Well, we unfold the moment around that. We have the emotion around that. We don't label the emotion. We just have the emotion around it. And that releases the storm, right? <clears throat> and then we get the uh, Knight of Swords upside down. So again, we don't need... And the Knights are all about movement. But we don't need the mental movement in that sense. We need the heart movement. <clears throat> we need a new passion, right? The devil is about passion for me, and, and passion is pass eye on, passion. So we need to pass energy, which means to serve your community, or in this new caring relationship. We need to have deeper, connected, caring relationships, right? We need to be able to relate to each other's ions or energies. And then we get the Seven of Cups. So... With this new energy, with your new perspective, it can be exciting, it can be scary, but for some it can be very passionate. You know, you're getting excited about this new chapter coming in. You're not sure of the full details yet. And, but what is coming in is a whole a lot of different things. Uh, just like the Six of Cups here, or Six of Pentacles here, is that a lot of things can seem excited once this money's flowing in, right? We don't want to repeat old patterns and end up with nothing again. We want to be smart about where we're putting our money, what we are choosing to open up to and invest our money into, or uh, what things, if you come into a lot of money, then everyone's going to come to you, cousins you haven't heard of, uh, siblings, uh, charities, everyone's going to come to you and want a piece of the pie. And they're all going to say, yeah, yeah, this is going to be work. I got this great invention. This is going to work. Just, I just need this money. Right. Well, we don't need to be swayed by others because now we're going to be grounded in ourselves. Right. That's where the magician comes in and the one of coins. Right. Or the one of pinnacles. That's groundedness. So we're grounded into our um, 
idea of what we want because it has to match our heart's frequency. And if it's not matching that heart's frequency, even though it may sound good on paper and look good on paper, it's, it's going to be an illusion, right? That's what that Seven of Cups stands for. And now we get the Ace of Swords, right? Another beginning. So we're going to have new ways of looking, new perspectives, right? The way we're going to be looking at all this stuff. So that's awesome. Now we get the King of Cups. Is This energy is sort of an energy that's going to be surrounding us. Um, I'm not sure what that is. We're going to get some more information about that one here in a minute because it's an outside information. Then we get the Hierophant. So there's going to be a lot of wisdom around this because you've, it's an old saying, you live your first 50 years ga you know, gathering the knowledge in the second 50, um, using that knowledge, right? So we gather and then we use it. And so the Hierophant's about, you've had these experiences, no matter what your age is, you've had these experiences, you've observed them, taken responsibility for them, and now you're going to move forward, not to get caught up in illusions or anyone else's path. You're going to create your own storm path in a good way. You're going to lay the path. You're going to lay the groundwork, right? The one of Pentacles there in the Magician. Well, the Hierophant here then is about you becoming wise at your choices and only do the ones that you love. The devil card, the passion, right? And then we get the Hermit, right? Another wise figure. So we got a double wisdom here, right? So you got double wisdom. Now let's get a little more information about this king over here and we'll continue on. <clears throat> we get the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We get the Knight of Wands upright. We get the swords, and then we get the three of swords. So you were victorious in a relationship before, but now you move beyond it because it wasn't producing the fruit that you wanted it to, right? And because of that, there was heartache around that, right? Now, why was there a heartache around that? Let's get a little bit more. Um... And it had to do with money. We get the Five of Pentacles, and, and it's in reverse. So uh, normally that card means destitution, but you allowed yourself to use money as a way of uh, getting people to like you, right, to impress people. Um, and that way you were sort of already, uh, we, get the two, we get the Two of uh, Swords here, which means that you chose a path of having insecurity as your main way of being, which was to impress others to get them to like you, okay? And that wasn't very inspiring, and that's what's causing, that's what was causing this love energy not to come in as it should, because we get the seven of wands, and so you were very defensive, right? But this time around, we don't need to be defensive, we just need to be ourselves. And so by being ourselves going forward with this new financial project that I see coming in, it's not going to be an illusion anymore. It's going to have illumination on us. Right? The sun card again. And it is going to create uh, carrying connections that can be intimate or it could just be friends like you've never had friends before. Right? Because now you're going to be confident in who you are. That's all the grounding, all the pinnacles we have. Right? The old love that you had or the way you were loving before, be it from old times or, or insecure ways, Right? Because you thought you needed someone in your life or you couldn't be alone or whatever this is. No, you've overcome all this. Right? So this energy, this old energy that's coming at you, right? you need to stand up. You need to be the storm and wipe it out. How do you do that? By being yourself, being confident in who you are. And let's get a little bit more on that illusion too. Yeah, we get the two of cups right off of that illusion. So a cup on a cup. And it had to do with an old relationship. Because you weren't speaking up for yourself, right? You were letting them walk all over you. They didn't walk all over you unless you gave them permission, right? And that was per your mission on earth. This is to get walked on. So then you can stand up for yourself and not get walked on. And then speak your truth, right? Whatever that is for you, right? Meaning being yourself. Just let people know who you are, what you are, what you like, what you don't like. Right? Just be upfront and honest. And then we get the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is having that choice now. You have the choice and the clarity and the wisdom to make your own financial choices now that will create not only better relationships, but better friendships and better businesses, right? And it's able to help you spread your new consciousness around your new heart stuff. All these cups are having to do about heart and sharing your will, wisdom, and action, right? You're going to bring other people into your world and celebrate in serving community.
All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate you hanging in there. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, share it with your friends. Watch the other videos that pop up, right? That helps the algorithms and we get more people going. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.